Usually when I make response content, I try to be as charitable as possible in breaking down the, the lies, misrepresentations, and ignorance of theistic arguments. But on a rare occasion, you run into someone whose content is so pathologically bad that nothing other than snark is warranted. Sometimes arguments or claims are just so ridiculously atrocious that there's just no real feasible way to bridge the divide that they've created. Almondo Calvo of Christ Righteous Ministries is one such individual. So while it somewhat goes against the theme of the channel, I won't lie to you, it's sometimes fun to just poke the ignorant bear and see what happens. Here are some eight amazing facts about the atheistic belief. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Hang on a second. The atheistic belief? Uh, that's not what atheism is. If you believe in a god or gods, you're definitionally atheist. If you try to convince me that your god or gods exist and you fail to do so, then I don't believe in your god or gods and am therefore by definition an atheist. For some reason, I have a bad feeling that these eight facts that Almondo is going to present are based on either his ignorance of what atheism is or they're just flat out lies that the more ignorant members of his audience will fall for. One, atheists claim that nothing existed, when nothing is the absence of anything. I can't believe you can lie like that. Wow, you are off to a really bad start there, Chief. Atheists don't claim that, nor do they believe that, because something from nothing is a logical contradiction. We acknowledge that there was always something, we just don't claim to know what all that something was prior to this presentation of the universe. You, however, do claim to know, despite the fact that you cannot demonstrate the truth of that claim. You, as a Christian, also believe that your God was once all that existed, and then created everything out of nothingness via, I don't know, God magics. That would be something from nothing. And the only response you have to that logical contradiction is literally an appeal to magic. Number two, atheists believe that the great omnipotent nothing decided to blow up into three-dimensional matters literally after being nothing forever. No more drugs for that man. Okay, so that's another claim about atheists that's predicated on the first claim that I just debunked. Obviously, a nothing can't explode, a nothing can't make decisions, and a nothing can't be omnipotent. So everything here he's positing is just literal nonsense. I'm starting to think that this is really just a cringe insult video intended to stir the shit, because if Armando here is not trolling, he's literally one of the stupidest human beings drawing air. And I find that personally distressing, given that he's affiliated with the United States Armed Forces forces, an organization that I would hope would make an effort into putting the smartest and most rationally capable human beings on the front lines of defense. Number three, atheists believe that nothing created another omnipotent friend called Lady Luck. Then Lady Luck uses its omnipotence to arrange everything perfectly, in spite of the laws of science, like thermodynamics. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Wait, 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 hang on a sec. So... Nothing created luck? What in the literal fuck are you on about? Do you think luck was created to ensure that the universe came into existence in the manner that it did? I completely get that he's trying to shorthand these subjects in such a way as to make atheists look as ridiculous as possible, but this is coming off as more stream of consciousness and less critical examination. Number four, they believe that after matter ordered itself after 12 billion years, they believe that the earth appeals to omnipotent chance to get things done. <laughs> Ah, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Obviously, his MOS is not in the military sciences. Five, they believe that omnipresent chance finds an extraordinary mud puddle to generate all living biological forms from. That this mud puddle is so awesome, billions of years later, it can never be reproduced again. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Yeah, that's a fundamental misrepresentation of both abiogenesis and evolution. I strongly suggest you stick to oil changes in the motor pool there, soldier, and leave the big boy science to the adults who aren't frightened by it. Number six, they believe that several mass extinctions happen, but evolution, forget it, it goes into hyper mode. Ooh, boy, you are tied to the tracks and that stupid train just kept running over you now, didn't it? Run it over Several mass extinction events have occurred in the past, and we know this by the mountains of evidence that show that they happened. And evolution is expressed in both gradualism and punctuated equilibrium. Oh, I'm sorry, Armando. I didn't express myself monosyllabically enough for you to understand me. Change happened slow and fast. Seven. They also believe that eventually an amoeba turns into an ape. But listen to how incredible this is. Later, Darwinists conjure up a theory that we, human beings, are related to apes. And interestingly enough, 
They accept this theory even with the lack of biological and verifiable evidence. You think he plans it all out? Or just makes it up as he goes along? Ah, I see. So you're just going to pull claims right out of your ass. Gotcha. Cowards always choose to attack the misrepresentations of their opponents that they fabricated rather than meet them on equal footing. And lastly, number eight. The atheistic cult made a vow to stay in opposition to logic, reason, truth, and true science. And anything to simply keep God out of the equation. One, there is no atheist cult. That is an oxymoron. Two, you cannot demonstrate that your God exists. Therefore, your truth claim is based solely on your intuition or your feelings, which means it does not count as knowledge. Three, there's no reason to believe in your God beyond your personal fifis. And last, of course, God isn't in the equation because there's no evidence of its existence. Only your incredibly dishonest arguments for it. Which, come to think of it, your entire video is technically a violation of the Ninth Commandment. In the future, Armando, if you are actually capable of doing it, you should figure out two really, really important things if you're going to talk about atheism. One, actually learn legitimate science so you can at least represent the fields that you're talking about better than a fucking preschooler. And two, understand that atheism is not predicated upon an understanding of science. Once you have accomplished those two things, you may actually be able to engage in some semblance of an adult conversation. Instead of doing the dedicated men and women of our nation's armed forces the incredible disservice of propagating the negative stereotype that the military predominantly targets those of low intellect. Be safe, be excellent to each other. I'll see you next time.